We are in the laboratory of the Insect Zoo and Butterfly Pavilion. This is a containment facility for our live exhibits. Oh, you hear some hissing? There we go. They have really meaty claws full of muscle. They can use that to grab anything smaller than them. So we feed them crickets. We have over 30 million specimens in our research collection. We show arachnids, which include spiders, um, millipedes, centipedes, crustaceans, and then insects. We have lots of insects from all parts of the world. These guys have a chemical defense. They can spray cyanide, not enough to injure us, but it can chemically stain my hands. So I might, at the end of this, have yellow marks on my hand that won't come off for a while, for a day or so. I mean, it's a naturalist museum, so most people here are really into all animals, but not everybody likes spiders. Spiders and roaches are uh, a hard sell. One that pops up a lot that's just such a gorgeous insect is our philium, which is a walking leaf. It's a master of mimicry, and it looks just like a leaf. And so it always shocks people when you hold it. And then once it moves, people's minds blow up. Anytime I can make that happen makes me happy about the bug. The giant walking sticks from Australia, they're a big bug. And they look like dead leaves or dead bark. Um, some can have little parts sticking off them that look like lichen coming off their body. So they're amazing mimics. We found in learning over the years and in, in, um, working with the visitors and working with live insects, it's an amazing way to connect with people. Especially when we have our volunteers out and people get to hold an insect. Everybody has a bug story. So we found it makes for a great discussion in getting people engaged in our material and the exhibit and things we are passionate about.